Monday afternoon, July 11, 2010, 2011. Oh, Jesus. Welcome to my vlog. Well, I was supposed to be working days today. I didn't go in. Um, between my allergies, not being able to sleep, my body is itchy from head to toe. And I'm out of medication, so this is awesome. I didn't go into work today, so I'm going to... Just rest up, stay home, go in tomorrow. I'll deal with signing off the insurance tomorrow. Not a big deal, not a big deal, but today's vlog is going to be a small vlog. I don't think we're doing anything today. I just want to rest and recuperate. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Anywho, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Don't know how well you guys are going to see this, but it is pissing rain out. But my fan up here is not taking on water, so I'm going to leave it go to keep cold air pumped in. We just had a power flux, or power surge, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm gonna go check the other rooms and make sure we got no water coming in. Aw, oh, shit. Taking on water. So, because of all this crap in the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this window. Oh man, something's gonna break today. This is unbelievable. I know. Let's go outside and have a cigarette. It's about uh, 3.30 now, and it's pissing like cats and dogs out there, and holy shit. You know what's awesome? Neither one of my animals react to this kind of weather. Normally a dog will run and hide or a cat will become like a super cuddle buddy. And, but uh, yeah, normally like a cat will become like a super cuddle buddy or a dog will get all scared. Not in this case. Oreo doesn't give a shit and Felix doesn't give a shit and like this is just insane weather. You can probably hear all the thunder going on in the background. Then again, the microphone on this camera is a piece of shit. Let's go outside and get a better look at it all. Oh, tell me you heard that one. Well, even my cement slab that I stepped on is friggin' destroyed. Holy shit! Yeah, you heard that one, I know it. Friggin' just messing up. This weather is unbelievable. Epic storms are epic. Holy shit, still waiting for the power to fail. I know it's going to happen. It happens all the time when the storms get this epic, which is going to suck. I rely on my hydro. Oh, Jesus. That was bright. Big Puma! So, so, so far it's quieted down a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, never mind. You know what? It's practically blowing sideways. I'm standing here. I got all of this roof of coverage. And I'm still getting wet. Holy torrential downpours, eh? Look at the neighbor's eavesdrop. Just friggin' just, just working like a madman over there. Holy shit. Okay, I'm pretty sure we lost power now. That was a good one. Okay, um... Oh, Jesus, that was bright. I'm trying to vlog here, come on! Come on! Holy shit! Jesus! I think I just shit myself. I'm gonna shut this off. We got five minutes of footage of this torrential downpour and crap, and, um... I'm gonna shut this off and head back inside before I become a lightning bolt spray. This is brutal. Obviously I had a power failure because my computer's off. Everything's powered off now. I'll wait till the storm clears and power up everything else. I'm hoping we have power tonight to edit. Holy crap, that was brutal. Friggin' insane. Insane in the membrane. Looks like it finally calmed down out there. And we finally got power back. Not too shabby. Oh, I need to get some better allergy pills than the shit that I'm taking. I think I've grown, grown adapted to them. <coughs> oh. Stupid here is abnormally excited. Probably wants, to, probably wants to go outside and investigate the damage. So we're gonna do that. So it's still raining out just a little bit, just a little drizzling. Not a big deal. The grass is gonna end up growing back from that one, that's for sure. It's gonna get even greener. <sighs> oh, freak. Oh, I've been holding that one in for a while. So yeah, tonight for supper, I have no idea what we're doing. Girlfriend has some great idea of sausages and peppers. <sighs> We'll uh, wait for her to come home and whip that up. I have no idea what kind of a idea she's thinking, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
And yeah, I still feel like uh, a little worm on a big hook, so that's not good. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, I got a lot of gas today. Check my shorts. So yeah, uh, we're gonna do supper and then I'll check back in later. That storm was quite the storm. Friggin' I hate those. Where the house is situated, we always lose power because the power center, the distribution node is actually up that road. And then way down here, there's a, this road kind of turns off and it goes up to the military base and that's where uh, the power distribution center is. And it's always shutting down due to its location. What are you doing besides getting wet? Silly puppy. Such a weirdo. But yeah, um, that's the plan for tonight, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Bye! Figured while I was home, I'd do some more dishes, get them done. Sinks are a little bit more emptier. Still got a lot more to do, though. But they're a little bit better. I'm freaking hungry. I can't wait for that girl friend to get home to start cooking. So I think I'm just going to make a sandwich, and yeah, go back upstairs. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Right, well, we're going to go get something to eat. We're going to go to Wendy's and pick something up, because I don't feel like cooking. and. Just gonna, just gonna do her. Feels weird being a passenger in a car. Normally I'm the one doing the driving, but today we're in the Mitsubishi as the girlfriend is driving the car. <laughs> SRS airbags, super real super airbags. They have them there too. Let's look out the window. I'll have to kill the audio on that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. House for sale and it's sold. Somebody bought this house. And there's a house for sale over there, and there's houses for sale all over this street. Thank you. I worked on it all night. <sighs> well, we're gonna get some omnyams. Get some omnyams. Get some omnyams. We just went to Wendy's and we're informed that uh, there you go that their power has been out all day and it just recently came back on and they're not open till six. Uh, that is cocked. So we're gonna go see if McD oh Jesus so bumpy. We're gonna go see if McDonald's is in the same predicament and go from there. So yeah. So yeah. 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 All else fails off the Lakeshore Drive. So Rotten Ronnie's is open. That's a bonus. So we're getting their foods. So we're gonna head her home. Yeah. No cupping. No cupping. Hear that everyday vlogger? No cupping. Maybe next time. When I'm by myself. <laughs> but not with the girlfriend because she gets all nervous when I do pranks. When I'm by myself, I'll do it. It'll be awesome. McDonald's is just as cocked over as Wendy's. Except for at least Wendy's told us it was closed before we ordered and sat there and wasted 15 minutes in the drive-thru. Instead, so the people at McDonald's had us run through a bunch of shit and then intended us going in and paying a $4 service charge to take money out of the ATM. That might work. So, freaking stupid. So, I guess we're just gonna have to figure out what we're doing. Yes, we has our food. Now to go home. We're gonna watch True Blood. So McDonald's so, doesn't know how to reboot their machine. Yeah, because McDonald's doesn't know how to reboot an interact machine because they're a bunch of idiots. A bunch of children working at McDonald's. So, yeah. Well, let's head her home. Well, stop raining completely. So that's a bonus. But we got a problem. Garage is taking on water. Look at all this. All down here by Big Red. It just pissed from underneath the garage door. So that just sucks. Gonna have to buy a new seal for my uh, garage door so I can uh, so I can not worry about that happening anymore because the seal that's on it's no good anymore. So we're done eating. We're just waiting for True Blood to finish downloading so we can watch it. And yeah, I don't know what else is gonna happen tonight, but uh, probably not too much because even after eating, I'm feeling rough. I'm probably not gonna be able to keep this down, which sucks. I hate allergies, guys. I hate them so much. God, they piss me off. Anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. I really gotta start practicing cleaning the lens before I shoot a video. Alright, so it's about 9 o'clock now, and just finished watching True Blood. Really good show. I love it. Actually, this season's kind of kind of cocked, but whatever. <laughs> Damn! There you go. You guys wanted bushes in the video? That's like, what, four today? So, yeah. For some reason, everybody feels this need to challenge me. I've been getting challenges like, no bushes in the video, and don't say do her, just do her, you know, in the video. Somebody else challenged me to smoke three cigarettes at the same time, just like Ricky did on uh, episode uh, four of se or season four of episode one, when he was all stressed out and he had three cigarettes going. I think I might have to go pinch a grumpy. Jesus. But you know what, guys? You don't have to challenge me. <laughs> if you want, give her. If I like the challenge, I'll take it. If I don't, I'm not gonna. Another question I've been getting a lot of is, how come I'm not driving the Trans Am? Well, 
Trans Am is still drivable. I just got it on the side of the road for now. Uh, it fires up, it rolls. But I really don't want to bring it to work with the shad flies in effect because I got a little story to tell you. It's story time! Uh, one year during shad fly season I drove it down to Tim Hortons and I always try and find the darkest area in the lot to park the car because it's already bright white so it's going to attract the odd shad here and there but if it's in a dark area it won't get as bad. Well I parked it underneath what I thought was a burnt out street lamp. Turns out the street lamp was just a power saver mode. It was a hot muggy night like it is now and sure enough the street lamp, lamp turned on. When I got out to my car it was brown and fluffy. There was a shad flying every square inch of that car and they managed to push themselves in to the side vents and through the uh, the uh, underneath like they're everywhere they're in the engine bay driving the car fired it up they were on the engine block and they were just burning so all you could smell was this, like rotten burning fish um, they got into the door jams into the doors they got into areas where I couldn't get to them I literally spent a full Saturday and Sunday detailing that car using a friggin toilet brush that I bought at the dollar store to get it into the door jams to try and pull them out and like it was an eight-hour detailing job still couldn't get the smell out of it, it cost me a hundred dollars to bring it into uh, my buddy's shop that was a that was a discounted rate where he completely detailed the whole interior of the car to get the smell out like somehow they got into the air vents I couldn't figure it out. So during every year that I've had it on the on the road since, and the last time I had it on the road, I don't think I was vlogging, so I wasn't even making videos. You guys didn't see it. But every year during shad fly season, I park it and drive it other whatever other vehicle I have for that exact reason because that was expensive and a pain in the ass, and I really, really, really don't want to have to go through that bullshit again. Now I don't know what the situation with the shad flies are now. During the day they're not too bad. They're usually just like it's at night. That's when they come out in flocks because they usually stay to the beach. Because the sun's shining bright on the water, confuses them. They think the water's a light source and they usually hang out there and the fish jump out of the water and eat them. And yeah. But it's at night when there's real problems. And last week working night shift there's no way in hell I was bringing it down there because security, her security maintenance at work still haven't done my request of turning off the light outside. But last week, Thursday and Friday, the shads were really, really slim. So I'm thinking the uh, the brunt of it, it's, o it's over. We're getting close to the end of the month, and that's usually when they finish. But uh, I'm probably going to drive it to work tomorrow, and uh, yeah, go from there. So I'm going to head her inside, probably pinch a grumpy, because I think I need to. And yeah, we'll just take it from there. Later, guys. Fix my door again. I ended up having to move the little thingy back. And now when it closes, we're good. So... It's about 10 o'clock at night now and still got a shit ton of water in here, but you know what? I don't freaking care. It's only water. Nothing really got damaged. Just that computer. Just a piece of shit anyway. And the boxes over there. Hope you do. And probably a couple tires and jugs and miscellaneous crap that means nothing. And I think we're going to end the vlog here. This is going to be the last scene because I need to get some sleep tonight. Make sure I can make it into work tomorrow. So, yeah. Not, uh... Today was kind of a boring vlog, I will admit. There wasn't too much going on, but what do you expect? I didn't go into work, so I was having allergy problems. And I'm hoping that tomorrow I can go into work. I should be able to go into work. It should be fine. But, uh, yeah. So, I wanted to talk about something out here, and I completely forgot what. Oh, yeah. This Friday is Harry Potter's premiere. I don't know if a lot of you out there like the Potter. If you all think Harry Potter's a douche, I don't know, whatever. This Friday was the opening show. We were supposed to go, but we forgot to buy tickets. And by the time we bought the tickets, it was too damn late. So we're not going to the opener. Son of a bitch. So, looks like we're going to have to go out on Sunday because Saturday's all sold out. And the girlfriend's leaving town. And uh, she's going to uh, Wonderland again. And I don't feel like going to Wonderland because I'm not a fan of rides. So that works out perfect. So, um, she's going to Wonderland, I'm staying here, and actually Saturday I'm taking you guys out uh, to my uh, childhood weekend home. Uh, my buddy Jean, who I just bumped into a couple nights ago at the Hortons, uh, his, uh, he, he was wondering what was going on next weekend. He wanted to know if I want to come out to the house, and I was like, well, sure, because the girlfriend's going to be out of town, so that'd be perfect. So he said, all right, come on out, and him and his dad watched the vlog, so they know the bullshit that I do with the camera, and they're well aware that they might get son of a bitch recorded, and, you know, as long as I don't videotape how to get out to the house because there's already been an incident out there. Um, they got robbed. Friggin' nice. And uh, so they don't want any video video footage of how to get out there or anything. So all you guys are going to see is, alright guys, we're heading out. 
all right guys we're here you know <laughs> but uh, i can respect that not a problem not a problem at all but that is what we're doing next weekend we're going to be heading over to my buddy's house and uh they live on the lake which is awesome so i don't know what kind of hijinks we'll get into really wish my waterproof camera didn't take on water and become non-waterproof because i like the brand in case we do some watercraft hijinks but you never know so i'm gonna head out there and just friggin do what we do and hang out and you know you know you know how it is you know what we do you know you know Maybe. Sometimes. Not. I don't know. Anyway. Um. I lose track of thought too much. Holy crap. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I guess uh, this pretty much ends the vlog for today. Uh, sorry for the lack of events. Uh, I wasn't really feeling up to par, but uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll feel more up to par and we can do more par stuff. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Meh. We'll just do her. Anywho, so if you liked today's video, you know what to do. Give the old likey like a clicky click. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to put them in the comment section below. Have at her. I'll respond. That's what I do. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.